Healing crystals, skincare routines, knitting a sweater, fitting in jeans. With Katie and Sarah, no need to worry, you're on a lady journey. Oh, it's so funny. Really hard to look at yourself, too. Oh, oh horrific. Oh, yeah. I'm painful. doing it right now, really? and then. Um, it's just you're like wow I quite I I do not stick the landing uh, coming <laughs> coming into the joke it's a lot of stuttering and then I can so I need to edit always the first part of a bit oh how special funny anytime you edit yourself it's just it's just going to the darkest place <laughs> yes. of what it's like I just I'm, delete the whole thing yeah oh yeah yes. I'm done yeah. I remember I had um you know it's like getting headshots you know those first kind of times that you get headshots and you're like I thought I was like reasonably pretty and then you like look and you're like oh I guess I just have I have Bell's palsy in my eye right. and, and my I just teeth aren't squinting aligned. yeah to the symmetry just under a oh, microscope teeth have been big for me I, I had have, braces and yeah. ones switched back and so when the angle hits it wrong I look it like, looks a like it's the only two yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I have that I guess a I'll little do bit Invisalign for one I, day but I don't to, want to I don't I want to who has the time Will Ferrell got away with it I feel like I don't have to you know Tom Cruise, I was just looking at his mouth. Apparently, once you see it, you can't see it. As you do. They call it a middle tooth. So, and he's like, I have the same thing. <laughs> yeah. If you look at the alignment, this one tooth, the one tooth is over. So, where it should be, it should oh, be shifted. Not. Yeah. So, wow. it looks like a middle oh. tooth. A middle <gasps> tooth. Look wow. at it. Google image it. You can't unsee. You can't, can't unsee, unsee it. it. Welcome to Lady Journey, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> where we <laughs> point out talk. your flaws. Yeah. Align your teeth. <laughs> we have our beautiful guest, Zach Zimmerman. Zach, thank you so much for oh joining. Oh my gosh, thank yeah. you for having Thanks. me. Thank my you. One of my exes is, is I think, listens to the podcast. He's definitely <gasps> DM'd me out. when I shared one of your clips before. Oh my goodness. I was like, I love her. And oh, so good. I'm, well, take that. Yeah. That's all we need. Is the vibe. You lost. You lost. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Zach, I haven't seen you since my Zoloft journey. You had just started yeah. it or were in the process. I, well, I remember you cryptically said, ooh, can't wait for side effects. And I was like, huh, what was he? <laughs> Did I? I was like, what was I'm he sorry. talking about? And <laughs> what then, a mean thing yeah. to say. And then, yeah. And <laughs> I didn't true. know what I, you were talking about. And then that's when I started sharding daily. But wow. now I'm good. I'm good. Well, you look great. <laughs> Thank you. I'm it's feeling good. sharding. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think know if you can blame that on Zoloft. <laughs> Zach's like, that's not a side effect. I started Zoloft having these crazy side effects. I keep slapping my loved ones. Yeah. It's so strange. I've become abusive. <laughs> but um, you, you're a Zoloft user also, right? No, uh, Lexapro. Oh, you're a Lexapro. And I yeah. have psychiatry later today. Oh, I fun. hate my psychiatrist. I know. Are, Do you really? are they all bad? Mine is a wonderful man. He's a um, he's a nurse practitioner, Henry. And he's just like a, a very... nurse can give you the big stuff? Apparently. Yeah. Well, he's very friendly. My sister-in-law, who's a psychiatrist, there, there's nurse practitioner hate right now. <gasps> really? And um, Greg Warren has a bit about it. And she was like, F I feel seen because apparently nurse practitioners go to school shorter and they're just getting, giving them all the jobs and they're not really equipped to diagnose like a doctor. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But now it's part of the big capitalist yeah, scheme of yeah. medical. So interesting. Yeah. It's such a web. Such a who well, knows? Web. Well, th that's the thing. Sometimes if you go to web or not WebMT, WebMD, but like what is a the oh, urgent uh, Medicare or whatever, oh, well, well. and you think you're getting a doctor, sometimes you're just getting a nurse practitioner. Uh, it's yeah. gonna go the way of like Uber Eats and Uber. Just anyone can pick up the like, yeah. <laughs> like oh, Hello? I can pursue. It sounds like you're depressed. Yeah, Here's I need a these friend. two. Yeah. Mine's, I don't know why I hate, I assume they're all bad. We just have like a two or three minute conversation every two months and she yeah, charges right. me through the roof. Yeah. Right. The, I find it the audacity mm. to charge $450 for what, a 45 minute session? Yes. Mm -hmm. How dare You're you? You're getting a full 45? I don't know. No, this is, a, I'm a, speaking oh, of well. people that I know that do oh, this, okay. Joe. Um, <laughs> With a psychiatrist? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. That I'm like. How, I don't understand how that's helpful. You'd have to, to anybody. hand me money. 
yes. to, to make that worth yeah. it. Yeah. Like, right. what are you doing for 45 minutes? Make me look good as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't want to feel good. Like make me look I good. Lie to me. And yeah. old timey. <laughs> all, yeah. you, give me shoes, clothes. You're, you look Do amazing. Do the whole yeah. makeover. Yeah. I could, could you pay someone to just be nice to you for 45 minutes? I think that's, that's what a what wedding planner doing. is. I think oh, that's a wedding planner. Yeah. You're, you're in that journey yeah. now too, right? I am, but I will not be hiring a planner because I think oh. like the full service planner, I was like, well, I'll look into it. It's like 8,000 is like partial planning. Oh, and then God. a wedding planner is kind of just a friend for a rich person. I think mm. that you're like, yeah. oh, do I go cream or ivory? And they're like, you're amazing. Yeah, Aww. You're on a path and whatever you choose is right. I'm, I'm here, here for you. you. Yeah. yeah, If she was free, you would do it though? If, yeah. I would. Or actually free might be a bad thing. Right. It's just a free right. wedding wild, planner. A wild friend. Trying to build my resume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be you. I am hiring a day of coordinator though. And that, that is will a be healthy... a person Yeah, to come in to be like, so I'm not the person like in my gown, like, where are the hors d'oeuvres? Yeah, yeah. Or <laughs> people texting you the par- asking about parking. And right, like, right. I can't handle Don't this. Text I'm the going bride down the aisle. It's, <laughs> yeah. Never well, text the bride. Do people do that when you have a show and you're like, yes. say your hometown and you're already kind of like nervous or any town that you have friends in, they're texting me like, how do I get into the venue? And you're like, I can't, I don't. I yeah. don't, you're you like, can't, I can't be do a it. Concierge to your you coming to my show, at the, my least favorite person, and they're out there. It's like, can't wait for your show. They're coming the next day. Like, come into the show, and then they don't come to the show. You right. never see them don't again. Don't tell me yeah. just you coming to the show is you coming to the show, right? Or yeah. how about when they were like, I was gonna come to your show, and then they were like, <laughs> I decided more not to. Fun yeah. happened. <laughs> Sorry. The, the results outweighed the con, you know, like yep. the yep. the journey of it or whatever. Mm. And you're like, you could have just not said anything. And also, I don't want, I don't need you to come to my show. Yeah, I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> also, once you say, looking forward to your show, for me, there's always like a wait. To, now I have to do it. Like right. this play I'm going to this afternoon. Playwright has no idea I'm coming. I like to keep oh, it that way. Yes. In case I want to yeah. maybe not go. Like, yeah, exactly. uh, so like keep my up, options like, open. Yeah, come up. Oh, now, are time. you? Do you have plans to go back to France this summer? Oh my goodness! Very apt question. I would try to leave the country once a year ever since I was twenty six because it keeps oh. my perspective keeps, you keeps me yes. grounded, to kind of, or yeah. just realize like, oh, it's all about like good food and right. not being uh, in New York, doing the same four clubs over and over. Yes. Again. Yeah. Yes. yeah. But I, I might visit a friend's doing a cruise. She's working. Ooh. Press my luck. Uh, the game show on a cruise so I might go with her in August at the same time I'm uh, body trigger warning I'm heavier than I've ever been I don't really want to go on a 10 day cruise because I feel Mm. like I'm going to eat even more Uh, yeah Yeah. that's true you can't I mean I know I think the buffet is the gym where you're like just (laughs) (laughs) your arms look great oh my god your right arm cheese I'm eating yeah Yeah. so I might go to I don't know but I should probably live my life you should you have to live your life your life no you went did, was it last summer that you were in Paris for a full month? I, I made it to like three and a half weeks. Yeah. Oh, I really gosh. wanted to live in Paris. And I was like, how many weeks do you have to do to like live three there? Three and a half. Yeah. Yeah. I did yeah. that with England and when I was 19. Oh. And I made it three months. That's oh, wow. pretty good. Uh, but miserable for most. I called home crying and they came and got me immediately. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was a very lonely experience. I didn't realize traveling is probably better with a friend. Because when you move to a city and you're in your early 20s, late teens, you have to have a plan to make friends. Get yeah. a, an activity yeah. or maybe improv get a job. Or, yeah, yeah. Improv, a job. Yeah. Get a job. Barista. Yeah. Especially a cute 19 year old. You'll make friends fast. Oh, if you're yeah. seen. But if you're hiding in your bed. Yeah. Yes. You'll also have no money in your. You don't have it yet, any money. Traveling and, in your thirties is a little more fun because you can like afford the croissant yeah, class yes. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so bougie. Yes. Well, I wasn't used to public transportation, and I grew up in Houston, so the idea of like walking to a bus stop. And then going, to doing yeah. a transfer or this, I remember the lady uh, was my second cousin's wife was like, I found you a job in the pub and the pub was like a 45 minute walk with, and there was no way of getting there. I'm like this, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah check that out. Like, how will you get home? Was but, this summer or winter? It was summer. But now looking back, I was like, oh I now from living in New York, I could have easily yeah. and would have. Oh, loved. was there a bus? 
There was a bus, but even walking for 45 minutes, I now find it delightful. Oh, mm. yeah. I love it. Oh, we yeah. put, put on a murder podcast. Right. Keep, I keep am, your speed up. <laughs> I, I walked an hour to a dinner last night and realized that's a little much. I arrived yeah. a little tired. <laughs> yes. I now did. it's not unlimited. <laughs> Energy's not unlimited You're anymore. Like, I need a wine. Little, yeah. <laughs> Please. Somebody. <laughs> Shirts wrapped around your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I um I did a walk to it. I had a show in Long Island City, so I walked over the Queensboro Bridge a couple weeks ago and I thought it would be lovely because it was like the sun was setting and I was walking, but it was also the bike path and, and I did cars think, come and yeah, like up cars dust. are oh, going. No. Yeah. The like <laughs> People on scooters flying. I had to like dodge like the guy on the unicycle. Like I felt like I was in Tron. It was wild. I was hugging the side, terrified. Not relaxing at all. No, no. no. But I could I've... see the sunset. It was a great view. Oh, I was right. pushing myself off the bridge practically. <laughs> but yeah, overwalking. You always, you always are like, oh, I'll make it. Especially yeah. summer in the city is hard. That's part of why I leave too. I feel like yeah, I learned the hard way. No one's really here, or everyone leaves. Yeah. Or yeah. Seems to. Yeah. Yes. And nothing, nobody's getting really anything. Do you know what I mean? It's not a busy time. It's not a busy time. I don't have that fear of FOMO. Mm, Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, I'm not missing out on my career if I just decide to take off for the... But once September months. hits, and then once everyone's the fall like, season, suddenly, <laughs> oh, busy. suddenly school's back in session. <laughs> oh, I know. You're falling behind. <laughs> I know. Well, Your I career's let him, over. I didn't get the syllabus. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do the yeah. summer reading? Yeah. Some of us are hustling all summer long. Yeah. I love a back to school vibe, though. You just feel like, oh, productive for two right. days, and then you're kind of back to your <laughs> dropping <laughs> classes. <laughs> but take us on, like, day in the life of your month living in Paris. Oh, like, my what were gosh. your days like? Yeah, what's your, like, your, did you get a daily routine? Did you have a croissant? Or? I was settling it a little. I I made I my I had like two hookups. What was interesting? It felt like everyone was getting engaged and married that summer. So gotcha. I was the third to a lot of couples on their trip. I didn't tell anyone well, I was fun. going, so I was kind of hiding. And when you posted like we're engaged or like we're here, I'd be like I'm here too. Let's yeah. get, <laughs> let's get dinner. Let's get dinner. I love that. So it was I was kind of third wheeling it a little, but I ended up getting really into like a journaling habit like I was like oh, do an activity yes. journal about it so I did do like a croissant making class <gasps> yes. I did a lot of the Tory stuff like when I've been with my ex before and been above like oh I would never like book a bike tour like how right. how, how beneath me but then I was like oh no that's actually kind of fun it's delightful. delightful or get on the circle line and use yep. that as part of your transportation as well right just right pick right up a few little tidbits of the city yeah yeah that's it's always delightful. Very pleasant. You're such a um, fantastic. But oh, sorry. Actually, August is very hot in Paris. It True. was like 100 degrees. And sometimes there's a lot of strikes going on. Oh, it always yeah. feels like they use They're, the summertime as leverage. They're always they striking. Hot. They're yeah. always striking. <laughs> <laughs> that was the year. Was that the year that it was like record heat? Yes, yeah. Yes. And it, they almost were having like all these elderly people were just dying because they have I no was air conditioning. Them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they also, I've seen, you can't really get out of a, it's, quaint when you're like walking up 10 flights of stairs and you're young but like when you see like a, a fire flights. truck getting someone out of like a top yeah, floor it's like, like oh, oh the city God. isn't built for like no. people with death no. <laughs> I actually read something that was like people they are living longer and then it's also hotter than oh. ever before so it's just like kind of an awkward Venn diagram of wow we didn't like Horror. we didn't foresee this we, didn't <laughs> we never saw this it. at all it's a perfect storm do they put ice in soda in ice in your no. very hard to it's, track down yeah. it's it there's not unlimited ice in the u.s there's ice everywhere they and have different like kinds. a bucket of ice yeah yes. you're like can i get crushed ice and they don't do iced coffee really cold brews i had really? to hunt down and they serve it in like a paper cup they don't believe in plastic sorry okay. i know it's bad for yeah. the environment but it's well, good whatever. for like whatever it's too late now well but they serve it in a paper cup that kind of falls apart mm-hmm. while you're drinking it i nurse uh-huh. my drink. it's like the paper straw yes. but it's a paper cup Worth i don't like- want to read my coffee out of an essay okay <laughs> yeah. i want to have but now what what were you drinking when you couldn't get your hands on the cold brew i well i just went to the starbucks they have a starbucks oh and they have, have starbucks cold brew. yeah okay. i'll do an iced americano but it's just not the same. I don't like Americano that much. Wow. I like I like an espresso. I love a latte, but like Americano, you're like, it's what's the point? It's right. Kind of what's watery, the point? Right? It's just yeah, watered it is down. Water. You're like, okay, you're well, just tricking I us. I you, feel you're tricking us. Maybe I don't want milk. 
maybe I don't want nasty, right. your nasty latte. I don't want a milkshake <laughs> for breakfast. Right. Oh, I love a latte. Oh, really? Give me that whole milk. Oh, interesting. Yep. You're just big. You're just nursing you the know, teat. You know me, yeah. Indiana. <laughs> Indiana coming out. <laughs> I'll have a latte 5 p.m. <laughs> I drank a lot, too. A lot of Ad- Aperol Ooh, spritzes. Oh, my goodness. A lot the of, wine. Yeah. No, I was, but in Maine this winter, I smoked for the first time <laughs> oh ever. Oh my gosh. I was she at gotta a, smoke in Maine. I gotta smoke in Maine. <laughs> that was one of the times I was trying to get you on the pod. And you were oh, doing, yes. I said, Zach, would you like to come on the pod? You said, I'm in Maine. I said, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> there was like, I was my first, I did like a writer's residency thing. So we were there for a month. It's the middle of winter. The best part about doing it is how quickly you can say no to things. Someone oh. will be like, hey, do you want to get coffee next week? Sorry, I- I'm in Maine. I'm in the oh, middle of nowhere, yeah. a small town. Was it freezing? It was freezing. It was below. It was a, an ice. The The lake froze over. You could wow. walk on the lake. But then after a week, everyone was so well behaved. All the artists were arting. And then I just had an urge. Someone said the word cigarette. And I don't <gasps> smoke and never have. But suddenly I was like, I have to smoke. And so we went <gasps> yes. to the gas station and got cigarettes and like stood around like little kids oh, so Stephen King but I smoke in Paris a little too okay yeah. cigarettes in the winter and Paris are allowed right that was the only time my Joe was cool with me smoking and then he was shocked how fast I can get into a pack a day <laughs> <laughs> You're immediately there. Oh yes. no! Well, I One was a, a smoker, and then I quit oh, okay. in my th- early 30s. But I like I still really you indulge. Know, it's like a I little... like the romantic oh, notion so romantic. of it. But then every now and then you see a person that's like, ugh. Oh, so that outside a smoke break in New York City and they're just kind of like depressed and by themselves. But for some reason in Paris, you're just in a cafe and you're like with oh, friends. And when it's so social, romantic. it feels. Yeah. My, Fun. My, yeah. Like, if you can have ooh. a cigarette with a friend. It's the that's same way. Yeah. Like same with, with drinking, wine, I, I think. Yeah. yeah. But I think it's so funny because like we do, I think it's like um, the age of us that we do have a romanticized kind of notion of like that cigarette, uh, like melancholy cigarette. But it's like how funny to be like, I had a feeling like I have to vape. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in Maine. What else is there One to must, do? I, I got into the Apple. I got into Granny Smith. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Maine, though, I feel like that's a great place that will force you to write. Oh, yeah. Lot There's of, nothing to not do. Not much to do. Yeah. Except there was a church. The only show was there was a church. And I went one Sunday. I'm like not religious. And mm-hmm. it's a wound. And I was like, what will this be like? And there were like seven people there. And it was kind of quaint. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is interesting. Interesting. You really are so good about pushing yourself to do activities for your art. Like you were doing mm. that series. Of, I think was it for Time Out? Oh yeah, New York yeah. It was like I'm a tourist, and you're yeah, going yeah, around yeah, doing yeah. fun stuff. Like I love that series. I I like hate doing things, so I have to force myself to. I'm do the them. same, but yeah. I don't ever force myself to do them. <laughs> I'm pre. <Yeah. laughs> I'm, I'm. I wish I was where you were. Well, they say some. I've heard the spectrum laziness and very productive like pro- productivity is almost the same thing it's just a flipped <gasps> coin that oh. i do believe sometimes the busiest people are the ones that want to be the laziest because yes. they feel bad about it because mm. it's like oh i'm too busy to do anything right i'm like i'm running around but it's like you're just kind of like you know as i am like deleting emails <laughs> 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 i have to clean my inbox it's crazy <laughs> Um, 20,000 unread emails. Oh, I it's never read mess. them. Oh my God. My inbox, a mess. I know. I do. I am trying to, this week in particular, I'm, go, or I'm going to visit my family next week. So I was like, I only have a week in New York. I want to like do lots of things. Yeah. Because you, usually I'm like on my couch, just kind of like, if I have one thing to do a day, it's too much. Like oh, oh. one meeting, one oh call, gosh. one I would one say one thing a day date. is all you need to do though. Yeah. 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 I find I need a day off after Day on, day off. Right. Day on, day off. That's a good... I actually think that that's a good... <laughs> I, I don't know if it is. It's, it's Most of the cultures, five days on, two days off, five days on, two days off. But how much are they actually doing, though? It's They're like not. You sit at a desk. I've yeah. done, like, the productivity. You guys listening to this right now, you're probably working. Yeah, you're working. I and did, so are we. I did five days on, two days <laughs> off, and you're. I would... You're only doing like one hour of work. And to me, it was always the last minute of the day. And I was always called it the work sprint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, just, oh, fuck. I have yeah, to, yeah, I have yeah, to yeah, do yeah. something and get it wrapped <laughs> up. By the, but you're really just fucking around. Oh, yeah. Most of the time. And then and it feels even the that, even if you put in the lowest effort, you're putting in more effort than anybody else at work. Mm. It's surprisingly yeah. how 
lazy everyone. most it's like everyone is they discovered quiet quitting and it's like pe- do you We've think been people have this. been working yes. <laughs> yeah you, you think people have been work working at your a day. paper it's factory exhausting. no and you, you can't get anything done in your life sometimes i would lie about stuff so i could do an errand mm, mm. because i have my period yeah because yeah, you can't do <laughs> errands sharding. when you're working yeah, yeah it was very it was a frustrating ordeal somebody i saw somebody tweet saying that we should do three day weekends, and I agree with that. One thousand percent for like meal prepping and um, cleaning. One for yeah. relaxing, and yes. then one for going out with friends. Oh, that's great! Oh, I love it. I do too, and I feel like we should get a three day weekend every day, every yeah. weekend, every we should, weekend. We shouldn't work. We, we shouldn't, shouldn't work. work. Well, well, we're, we're working on it. We need a little work. Yeah. Just well, a little. I think I go that crazy when I have no. It's work. true. I true. I I think that I was reading something that was like about kind of the the observed science of productivity and they're like depending on what type of work you're doing if you're doing like creative work really the max you can work a day is four hours and that's Mm. if you like you know your brain is like a muscle and that's if you are like have it conditioned to that shape like you're always working four hours a day writing jokes or something not like oh I'm gonna be a comedian I'm just gonna start writing four hours a day because I have that like I will you know I'll work on like writing stuff I have about two good hours then I have to take a break and then I'll get two good hours later but like if I try to push past that I'm in a fugue. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. I'm eating a donut. I'm running. Yeah. I'm, I'm on the street. I don't know what's happening. I can't focus. This it's residency like, was very that structure because you could wake mm-hmm. up. I'd do a little shift of working in the morning, lunch, little shift to work in the afternoon, dinner, and then a little more at night. But more than like great. what was nice about it is you, I realized how much stress how much time it takes to plan meals and any socialization. It, it does. Was, yeah. Like to actually make a plan with a friend and go to a friend like is very, takes many hours. Oh my gosh, riding on the train. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the worst. But this you're in a small town and you could skip meals if you wanted to or have them with everyone. So yeah. if I need social energy, meals would be like half an hour. You I like eat. social meals. Yeah, oh, I really it, it enjoy it. It was more them. than I ever in New York. I'm eating alone most of the time. Oh, like, yeah. it's a sad. I know as you're a like eating person. over the sink, yeah. Yeah. like eating a PB and J. But to actually like eat, they there was some article about loneliness too. Apparently, like our building, no one has dining tables anymore. People aren't right. like you know, I really, eating I with other people. One. Yeah, because yeah. oh, I like social eating. Some of my favorite times, like if I ever get to shoot a sketch or like a production thing, is the break oh with the crew and the yeah. actors and we start talking I thought you were gonna say like my favorite is when there's a scene at a dinner table <laughs> and it's and it's like you're having a meal with someone and else. i'm the center of attention <laughs> <laughs> and i know what to say and people laugh at it. <laughs> it, it that is it yeah eating with other people as a culture we're we're fucked we're I know, very and that's the thing we're going in the like, wrong direction yes. I think. it's yeah. such a like in europe that's one of the reasons that they oh, are like yeah. thinner because like they the eating is not just like and i'm eating a burger as fast as i can it's like here with friends it's like yes. a two hour experience and you get the experience. table for the night yeah. in paris yes. if you go yeah. to dinner it's your table it's for burning, two three four hours yeah. yeah what's here. your favorite french wine the good the, the good one <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that I'm not that much of a sommelier I went to um, <laughs> so funny the like, ones that like taste the good the, pinks, the white ones the pink, the pink ones yeah. um, I went to um, Bouvet last night which I love it's like my favorite little French place I, I, when I go in there I feel like like the waitress is French you're like am I in France yeah Ooh, what's it called Bouvet Bouvet okay. yeah it's in uh, it's on Grove in the West Village and it's actually very reasonable Reasonably priced, like it's not like when you go to like um, Le Grand Bougerie, it, that's like a fifty dollars an entree or something. But like we went, we I had a little white burgundy at the bar. My Ooh. friend came. I got a Sauvignon Blanc. Mm-hmm. She got one. They set us in this t- tiny table on the outside, and then petite privilege. Oh, right. teeny, I wouldn't even tiny. Fit. It was so small. We were in there like this, just eating. And she got a little cocoa van. Came in a tiny dish, mm. and I got I don't even know what I was eating. It was like a duck leg, something yes. duck leg and beans. Duck- it's so French. I'm oh. like, I would never eat beans unless I'm like pretending I'm abroad. I was gonna yes. say you seem a little French today. Oh, you're kind of. You see, I'm getting French. Yeah, and then we would not leave. We would not leave the By table. Which I mean, you're being a bitch. You're being <laughs> yeah. a big old bitch. The waitress was kind of a bitch, and my, oh, it's the best. I was like, oh, I just love it. Do you oh. tip even if it's a French restaurant? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I think so. In the, oh, okay, I think you here. have to tip extra because she was being a bitch. I'm like, oh, she was saying, yeah. she gave she's you doing the work. Full service. Yeah. It's like they, that diner. They have a Karen's diner. I don't think it did that well. Oh, that's But hilarious. they're intentionally Dick's mean to you. Resort. Dick's Last yes. Resort. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I kind of when it had a, like a joke where I thought it'd be funny if <laughs> I got the job and then the first thing I do is just, I'm just racist where I'm like, that is. A, a degree of rudeness. <laughs> and they're like, okay, not oh, that. that one's not allowed. <laughs> yeah, you're caught up in a lawsuit. Yeah. Now you're like, I, oh God, I was, was being character. rude. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I have a BFA. <laughs> yeah. I could not go to that. I've seen that restaurant before on like TikTok or wherever. There's no way I could go. I feel like I would be so traumatized oh, immediately. Yeah. Like, I think it I'm would so escalate. sorry. Yeah, it yeah. Was, like then you play yeah. along, and then all of a sudden you're like, "Oh, I think we're actually legitimately mm. fighting you're in a fist now." Fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Dick, no, <laughs> Dick, no. I want to watch like, uh, do you watch um couples therapy? I want to oh, watch Orna go to Dick's Last Resort. Oh, see how she a psychiatrist. <laughs> that's a th- she's handles. a psychiatrist. Tell yeah. Me about yeah. That. yeah, I like her. I, she's I amazing. She's on Call Her Daddy recently, so oh, I've been really? watching a ton of. Clips I saw of her. her on that. She she is such a very good psychoanalyst oh my god you know, she's making really me want to fire mine because i was like Burt? i'm not getting pushed this oh Aaron he's Burt on the first Meehan. season they but were not it. featured yeah they oh, just okay. like they showed a glimpse and i was like oh they're on this season but then they didn't go into depth on their relationship yeah. i don't know what happened i think what happened because i do ca- vaguely remember when they were shooting that i think they shot a bunch of people oh, and then okay. maybe they just Depending didn't make the, the final maybe not just narcissistic enough yeah they they probably were just like normal they kind of tease them at the end yes it was like oh it's maybe like, they're come, gonna be come in yeah okay. and like they're the couple at the end or whatever i think this shows them crying at one point though i would I be pissed it. if i got cut from the couples were... therapy show oh, i know you went and go on and bury your soul <laughs> or maybe they asked for it you're like, like sorry you're very functional <laughs> <laughs> yeah i love yeah. that show i love it it's so she good. i was using i accidentally like a, absorbed something she was saying to a, i met a new guy and he was like really happy and i was like oh you seem really positive and like high energy what's the shadow of that (laughs) (laughs) just a little observation and he did open up about a past thing but that's a great way i I I was like what's the shadow of that that's a good term a compliment sandwich yeah she said it yeah fun (laughs) now what's going on it was a choice (laughs) i'm always fascinated when someone's really happy and high energy whether they've always been that way or whether something happens yeah Yeah. so he like decided in high school to be happy that's nice. And I was like, oh, or to make an extra effort. Yeah. I, I can't relate, but. I know. Just... Yeah. Well, I was talking about this. Sometimes <laughs> the people that project the most happiness, especially oh. online, when they are blasting out positive memes, you're like, yeah, yeah, trouble yeah. in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I post an That's earnest so meme. Yeah, yeah, check well, on me. Check on me. <laughs> or it's always like a slight dig to the person that they're fighting. Because it's always like, no matter who your <laughs> haters are, they can't push you out of that boat. And Mom. it's like, yeah. <laughs> That you're like, I know who this is. What's going on over yeah. in this town? I want, like, I do crave sometimes like fake comedian drama i'm not confident oh. enough to ever do it but to have oh maybe i would have a feud with you oh i would that do a feud kind of, of, i think it like would this propel cunt. you guys people would, love yeah. Beef. yeah like a fake like wwe like yeah like, or the drake Kendrick fake slap yeah, yeah. yeah. oh yeah a people fake. ate that up i don't oh, want they, actual Zach beef slapped me last oh. night yeah. <laughs> well that might not look good for, for me <laughs> i know that's but, the thing it's yeah, like yeah, that would yeah. be nice um, but you're such a um, prolific writer, Zach. This is oh, one of my no. questions Very I have lazy. for you. You have so many. I was looking on your website. I'm like, I can't believe you've written so many articles. A you have a demons. book. Yeah. How do you how do you keep churning out articles like this and also do stand up? Yeah, it's always it's really impressive to have so I, impressive. It's self discipline. Yeah. Oh my god, I feel I feel that's very kind. I feel very undisciplined okay. and. Deadlines, your, I guess, are the only thing that's maybe help, help, yeah. ever helped me. Or what's your creative? What's your process? Because I always like David Sedaris, who I always like, love him. Would talk about. He wakes up at like ten a.m. and he does a few hours of writing, and then like Stephen King would write. He'd also write morning, and then they would sit on their project for a, a year. I heard the Tikiki, the guy that does the Marvel movies, the New Zealand guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. Tai Tai. I never Wak-kiki. know. I forget. <laughs> It's a very tricky name, and Cancel we are white. Them. Yeah, Cancel we are them. white, so we've we've apologized every episode for that. 
Taika Watiti. Yes. Yes. Came to me. Writes a script and then he sits on it for a year and revisits it. Yeah. You do, that is important. Yeah. I don't know if, I don't know if stand up applies to, has the same rules, but you do need to make a thing, sit it aside, and then come back to it. Wow. Because right. stand up, you're, you know, I guess you're getting feedback in the moment. Like, is the audience following me along? Yeah. But when you're writing, you don't know. You don't know if what you're imagining is making it onto the page or not. Or yeah. You How long do you yourself. sit on stuff when you? Oh, there's no good system to it. But as long as you need to feel like it's not yours, okay, and reapproach it with like it's love. Like masturbating with your left hand, kind right of away. the stranger. <laughs> yeah, you got to sit on it and then. Oh, who's that? Ah, yeah. <laughs> This writing looks great. <laughs> but it, there can also be moments where you're like, oh, I see what I was trying, but that's not here. Right. If you can, okay. It's kind of like editing or listening back yes. to yourself. So you're getting bark, a different bark, brain. A draft? Ideally, yeah. There's an idea of like shitty first drafts. You gotcha. just like get it out. And Sedaris, I did his master class and he's he's prolific and, he, oh. and disciplined in a way that I'm like trying to do, but it's so hard to like... Yeah, journal every day about the day before and then I think in the afternoons he like edits whatever he's working on but I do find if you don't get it down the day after the week after it starts to fade like I took right. my mom on a cruise and I was like I gotta write all this down oh my god that's a that's a feature film oh I know it, cruise or, mom but then it's like cruise mom <laughs> That's quite a great name. <laughs> Where'd you come up with that one? <laughs> I did. I did. I have a good title for it. For it, and my friend was like, "What is it? Tits Ahoy?" And I'm like, That's, <laughs> That's pretty great. great too. <laughs> How'd you know? Wait, where'd you guys cruise to? It was New York to Bermuda and oh, back. Oh, such fun! And it was seven days. I recorded. Uh, video or oh, voice recorded some conversations, yeah. okay. which are actually I kind of wish I hadn't because they're the least. Or they're like painful to go back to. And I feel like maybe I gotcha. should just focus on what I remembered. Not yes. actually. I used to voice record conversations with my friends when I started stand up. I would have a little recorder Aww. and we would hang out and I just put it because I would be like my friends like we just goof. And I remember I had this weird little recorder and my friend picked it up one time. She goes, your phone is weird. <laughs> <laughs> it was like so strange. I was like, oh, I'm spying on us. I I'm can't so believe sorry. you like we're hanging out with friends and, and recording it. That's such a strange Thing to I do. I was Who a does bit that? ahead of my I can't monetize. imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of brilliant. But if secret you don't, podcasting. secret podcast, secret podcast, yeah, illegal in some states. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I think in some you don't have to tell the other person. Yeah, it's one way consent or something. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, that's weird. That's funny. One way consent. Yeah, as long <laughs> as I know I'm, it's being done. Yeah, that's that works also for sex. California. California. Do you know there's no no rape in California? Yeah. It's 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 a it's legally high taxes, it's unless, yeah, unless you're talking about the state taxes. Oh wow. Mm, <laughs> brought it nice. around. But, but so your cruise, uh, mom cruise. Mom cruise. I had to steal away to like write about it during it. Mm -hmm. But then part of me was like. I don't know. You must feel this. There's like a double. We're living life, but we're also not because we're documenting life mm -hmm. or sort of you're processing things twice. Right. You're like, oh, this is going to be a great bit or this could be a good story. And then you're also inside the story. Yeah. Part of it. The other thing is sometimes I feel bad about telling stories of my life from people in my life yes i do feel oh, that too where it's like well, i'm not wanna, sure like, if they're cool with it i don't want to blow up my friend for like spilling on herself at the at the midnight buffet right <laughs> yeah. that's a good bit though <laughs> she can't believe yeah. wait where's the midnight buffet <laughs> i went on a cruise and i, I told think you I've, that in confidence yeah i went on a cruise and i think i've told this on here uh, it was a norwegian cruise i went when i was 16 with a friend like a friend's parents took me oh fun yeah and they had a midnight chocolate mm. feast and it was just mm. like all chocolate and it was like all kind of mid but still who cares oh, yeah. like as long as there's a lot of it yeah, yeah then it Doesn't makes it good. quality yeah. over a lot, yeah. of a lot is good, good. Mm. Uh, <laughs> we yeah. know a lot is good but it was I, like I have dreams about it sometimes they had like oh. chocolate like face sculptures and I was just like ah, you know <laughs> that's magical oh the peak what's of the my... downside what's the bit you're not allowed to tell Oh, no, no. That was, I was just telling about the buffet. Oh, 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 Nothing sorry. bad happened. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing bad happens at a buffet. Never. I'm a buffet enthusiast. We, and we've talked about we, this on here. We We're, found out we love buffets. Who buffets are amazing. Yeah. 
I went to a buffet. I want to go back to that moment. Oh. Was it like a very specific? Well, like, we didn't know. We just I was started stuffing talking. my face <laughs> yeah. the other day. Well, my favorite buffet, and I've been to a couple, and I once did go to um, a, a party. It was like a fancy Halloween party where they had tiny desserts. Mm. Any buffet where there's a, <laughs> like a, a huge, <laughs> what a huge <laughs> quantity of tiny different food. I want to. I want to. Quarter size potato Why chip. Why do you think that's a buffet? <laughs> that's just a, a food. Ow, it was that's the- just food. <laughs> Ow. Well, actually, what it's makes a something spread. a buffet? A, it's spread. a spread. That's not a buffet. This is where we a find buffet. out I don't know what a buffet is. <laughs> I went the to buff- this buffet last night. They brought out a chicken dish <laughs> and I ate stop. it. Yeah, it's three courses. <laughs> you can order whatever you wanted. <laughs> you a, well, I guess I don't mean to laugh. It was it was in a buffet format, but everything was okay. tiny. But it's, so what you weren't, is a buffet? Yeah, now I'm what curious. What is a buffet? Now we're going existential. I think it needs more than one station. Stations are important. Stations. stations. Otherwise, it's a bar. A salad bar right. is not a, a salad bar is not does not a buffet make. No, no, no. no. A salad bar is a salad bar. <laughs> no, yes. Let's not go wild. Dessert bar. You're describing dessert bar. A dessert bar. Yes. Right. But also a buffet, I think the the quantity of choices is what gets oh, me yes. going. Yes. I need a wide yes. variety and preferably small portions so I can go it's, further. Well, you know the buffet strategy. You do a lap first. Okay. Oh. I you don't, think you don't, that. don't get your plate. Go do the lap. First yeah. you do a lap. See what you want, mm-hmm. and then you go back in strategic. The same with the museum. Don't like, you know, spend 10 See, minutes at right. every piece. Do a big lap. Go museum back, sit at the one you like. Museum drive me crazy sometimes, because you're like, it's staring me this way, but then why is there a doorway <laughs> over know. here? Yeah, it's overwhelmed. <laughs> like, yeah, am I going to miss is that, that on the- Is that a cinema? Or why is it? Um, <laughs> oh, let's- But my buffet strategy is actually quite different, and I'm thinking maybe I should switch to yours, because my buffet strategy is I go through the entire buffet putting every single thing thing that I could possibly want on my yep. plate. That's a salad then I plate. Eat a ti- a tiny yeah, that, a salad plate. Yeah. yeah. You want a little bite of a tiny bite of everything and then I go back for my seconds. Th- then yeah. you know what were the hits. Yeah. That mm-hmm. should be every restaurant should be that way. Like top yeah. like a bento box or tapas. I want one bite of twenty different things. Yeah. Exactly. And then I can determine what my second yeah, Meal that's why. Yes. That's why yes. I never do. I never do DoorDash. I would just never get into it because I'm like, I don't want one meal. Like, I'll mm. go to the grocery store. I'll buy a hundred things, and then I'll just take a nibble out of everything. <laughs> and that's my Saturday night. And I've wild never felt better. child. Yeah, there is. I did recently Google. Well, I've been doing Ethiopian, and they will do delivery okay. and give you like six different little stews that you okay. put on the bread. Um, and then I was like, they should have this. In, Indian food should have this, and they do, and there's some name for it, and I got that dish. Oh, when, so like, I feel like every culture has a tapas. Yes, yeah. I love like Indian lunch buffets. That's where it's at for me. Oh, like an yeah. Indian lunch buffet you're where you're Indian like Indian for lunch. Mm-hmm. There goes the day. Oh my gosh! Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh gotta do God. it on the weekend. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to head back into work. <laughs> for... <laughs> buffet... What's your Ethiopian order? They have a there's a vegan place by me. Oh, what's the name of it? A lot of it's vegan. Um. And I get the like spicy option. I've been trying to mm, increase option. my spice tolerance. Yes, I, are you I getting ready like for none. hot ones? I'm trying to get ready for hot ones. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take him down. I would not be a good guest on that show. Ever. Really? I think I would be yeah. fun, but then I would be crying immediately. Yeah, like, number three, bad. I would be I'm not, upset. I, yeah. Now, like I, ghost pepper? That's not going to happen. Well, I get a kick out of people that have a low spice tolerance. Like Joe's mom makes me laugh. She'll eat like anything that has slight <laughs> black pepper. She's like, Satan's coming for The Irish palate is yeah. like potatoes yeah, with that's like a, very a garlic is yeah. like, woo. You're just like, how much garlic? I yeah. I can't, there's no, you're like, black pepper isn't even registering no. as a spice for me. No. Yeah. But it is, I've met several people. That can't handle it. That can't handle. Yeah. Well, you got black Texan. Pepper. Texan. And well, also um, South American, I, oh, I imagine would be, I mean, um, South African, I imagine would be like a little bit more spicy too. Um, it's not, they like uh, savory curries, like savory sweet, curries, sweet and yeah. salty oh. stuff. Mm. Cause they have the, there's a Malaysian also influence there. But, Sarah's South African. But oh, but only so. and also with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I grew up in Texas, so for most of my okay. life, so it's not where I'm like I, my homeland. Yeah. you know what I mean. Like yeah. so, I've that which would be, years I feel were you there for? Uh, well, we moved here when I was not even a year old, but my whole family's from there. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Um, 
But yeah, so it's not where I'm like, I feel at home when I'm in Africa. It's yeah. when I just go to Texas is when yeah. gotcha, that's gotcha, home gotcha. for me. Yeah. I, my family are, as long and as we I'm colonize in the southern it too, tip of so. something, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm yes. happy. <laughs> my family feels home at Cracker Barrel. That's our yeah. cuisine. Great, that's a, and, powerful place. And you will not yeah. find a spice Oh no. No, 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 seasoning. They kick them out. No. Yeah. Well, they have they have seasons. I mean, they have seasonings. You know, they have a, they have batter. That's what I'm saying. They, they have, have batter. jellies for <laughs> yeah. the biscuits. They have jellies yes. for the biscuits and rocking chairs. And yep, right. and giant checkers. Did oh, you see? checkers! Is There's best. a also that peg triangle peg game. Have you ever oh, played? That? Oh yeah, yeah. I Agno love Ramus. that one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Love that great. game. Oh, I end up being dumber than I think I am right. when I play. You have I'd to like play to it believe... like a good five times yeah. before you master it, and then you're like walking around like. <laughs> you know what I well, thought? Do you guys I was... need, at Cracker, like, do you guys need help? How are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to play. <laughs> I thought I was better at Connect Four than I am. I've always oh. prided, prided myself on that. I'm and stupid I, at Connect Four. I started Four. playing it online. I'm losing every time. Wow. There's like people that With, are really in, like two turns. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, how did you Where do did that? You I t- forgot <laughs> the oh the the bottom. The when you get the four on the bottom. Uh, yeah. You can't let them have two on that. You got to block them. Right. <laughs> These are the hobbies you get into in your 30s where you're like, well, I've taken up playing Connect Four on the internet. <laughs> and it's wonderful. There's no like evil chat, but there are some like emojis you can send. Mm. So sometimes people will be like, <laughs> yeah. and it like oh. falls. Or there's a poop one too. Wow. There's some weird people on there. Yeah, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try it out tonight. You're I'll playing Connections. Together. You're playing Spelling Bee. I'm playing Connect Four. I, I, I love Connections. You should I get play it every day. Do a deep dive on the people of Connect Four community. Oh, my gosh. Oh. A documentary. Like the Tickle documentary. Yeah. Have you ever watched that one where you're <laughs> oh, like, it's a, oh, guys, the Tickle. The guy who's into tickling or the yeah, Tickle people. Yeah, that would exploit tickle people. and use it as like, oh. uh, it's a, a way of blackmailing. Wonderful it was, documentary. It was because the guy was like, he, first of all, New Zealand. Yeah, and he was on given a trivial like dog fashion case or something, and then he just stumbled upon tickling. I love when a doc starts with, "I'm searching for this," and then I've stumbled. Mm. Left turn, a lot of left stumbling, turn. a turn, lot of stumbling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was... stand up straight, documentary <laughs> filmmakers. Get Why it are you watch your feet. <laughs> um, well, we do have to wrap up because we have some time constraints. Oh, but I want to say like this, this is the first act of a four act. Well, we'll, we'll be right. doing, we'll do a quick bonus episode. Oh, Zach, stop! If you want to join our Patreon, only if the Patreon. Yeah. I know I'm. I got only, some hot takes. I'm yeah. only giving to oh, the Patreon I love hot takes for our lady journeyers. Strong opinions. But first, I want to say um, <laughs> we do have another lady journey live coming up. <gasps> At the Grove 34, that's our stand-up show, and we'll be performing there on July 31st. So please like and subscribe, check out our link. And then our also June 26th. Yes, and we did just have an amazing one on June 26th. Oh, that's 26th. right. This is pa- this is I, past. That yeah. show. This is what I did. Look what I, I did. Can't, but how did you clean up? After you, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it was, the show got was, wild. Yeah. Oh my god. We did a giveaway. I and didn't know. You, yeah. I didn't know one human could have Can't that many arrested. nipples. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my Zoloft was acting up. Let's just say that. What happened to Jeffrey in the audience? I, we're all kind of worried yeah. about him. He's not well. <laughs> but Zach, tell everybody where they can find you online. Oh, I'm on at zz double zz on TikTok and Instagram and uh, Twitter. And you have to check out Zach's writing, everybody. You're going to love it. It's, it's wonderful. Oh, and um, tell about your book, too. I wrote a book. Yes. It's check called it Is It Hot Me or Am I Suffering for All Eternity for the Sins I Committed on Earth? A bunch of little essays about my family and dating and the hell that we live in. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much again, Zach. Oh, thank you for having yeah, me. Lady yeah. Journey. Lady Journey. Lady Journey.